Hi everyone, Julie is here. I'm glad to see on my channel your realize of Russian and I think that today's video will be Estonian crowns. So let's begin. January 1st of this 2021 has passed as 10 years since transition to a new young currency year passed. Do you know what kind of money you had before the word currencies? Mm, what did they have look like? Write in the comments. Just 10 years ago, people had the national currency in their hands, which served from 1992 to 2011. And now again, 10 years later, there is talk in the air about digital currencies that will be accepted everywhere, which are inflationary nature and limit a person more than ever. Will this all be accepted? Mm, the question is complex. And why develop a discuss when there are always supporters of the fact that we are pants in this globalist game? Others will say that the shrink is in the people, you know. Let's talk in different way about the past, about what currency my contemporaries remember. And let's talk in general about money that was replaced one after another in the Republic of Estonia. Let's start from the beginning with the predecessors of the Estonian crown. Let's plunge a little into history. 1918th in the Easter land, this is me about modern Estonia, there was an Eastern mark or Ostmark, which was produced by the German Empire for use on the lands controlled by Germany at that time, which tells us that the emission center was the German Empire. The currency consisted only of paper money, represented the pfennigs, and pfennig is a German currency. The next currency after the Ostmark was the Estonian mark, or simply the mark, which operated in the territory from 1918 to 1928, respectively. Even somewhere before the age of 1922, together with the Ostmark, it has not gone out of circulation at all. There was 100 penny in one mark. And the issue has already been implemented both in the form of coins and banknotes. And what is most remarkable for the country is that Estonia itself acted as an issuer. You know, guys, on the first paper banknotes of Estonia, text was duplicated in four local languages. Estonian, German, Swedish and Russian. What the reason to making several languages now in Estonia? Big question. By the way, write in the comments how many official languages now in the country where you live. Well, now we are approaching that very Estonian crown, which replaced the mark during the 1928 monetary reform. There were 100 cents in one crown, both coins and banknotes were in use. As it known, it appeared for only two periods, 1928 to 1940 and 1992 to 2010. Consider these periods and their removal from failure. The first Estonian crown. I'm answering the question, what was wrong with the mark that it was replaced by Kron? In the 1920s, there was a rapid inflation of the Estonian mark and the depletion of Estonia's gold reserves. Therefore, it was decided to introduce a new currency, a denomination took place and Estonia remained the issue. Further, after the incorporation of Estonia into the USSR in 1940, the Estonian crown remained in circulation for some time, with a gradual replacement from November 25, 1940, by the Soviet ruble. On March 25, 1941, the crown was declared invalid and finally withdrawn from circulation. By the way, along the Chervonets, they have not yet gone out of use. After the collapse of the rubles, the Russian rubble also came into use. Well, the closest period to us is 1992 to 2010, 
which was will remember it in many ways and obviously not from the positive side. Time of the Second Estonian Crown The Second Estonian Crown was introduced into circulation of June 20, 1992. The exchange of Soviet troubles for crowns was carried out at the rate of 1 crowns, equaling 10 rubles. From September 1, 1992 to December 31, 2010, the Estonian crowns was the only legal tender in the territory of the Republic of Estonia. Both coins and banknotes were in circulation. Well, Estonia's dependence on Germany has done its job. After all, to maintain the exchange rate of the national currency in Estonia, the currency board regime was used. I advise those who are not familiar to get acquainted with these terms, the roots of which indicate the management of colonies, in which the Estonia crown was packed to the German mark in the ratio of H crowns equivalent one mark. After Germany switched to Euro official exchange rate, the Kron was pitched to the common European currency. The transition in the Euro in accordance with the plan of Estonian government, updated in June 2009, took place on January 1, 2011. Such a present was awaited by the residents of Estonia and the recent past. The euro has become the official means of payment in Estonia. In Italy, the introduction of the euro was planned for 2007, but this didn't happen due to the fact that inflation rates in Estonia didn't meet the Maastricht criteria at that time. I will not dwell on this. I will not say that the transition itself is not a quick event, so some countries can wait for years and someone can reject this transition for years so that the country's indicators do not meet certain criteria in simple terms. Well, who is interested? See what these criteria are. On May 12th, 2010, the European Commission came up with a formal proposal for Estonia accession to the Eurozone, since the country has fulfilled all the necessary conditions for the transition to the Euro. The conditions, as you understand, of anchor nature, biting, but then apparently it was to someone's hand. But of course it's always something that suits someone. In general, the final decision of Estonia's admission to the Eurozone was approved on June 8, 2010, at the meeting of finance ministers of 16 Eurozone countries. In addition, a fixed exchange rate was approved at the level of 15 period 6466 Estonian crowns per 1 euro. Hmm. Interesting information on Wikipedia is that on January 2020, nine years after introduction of the new currency, Estonian residents still had 44 million euro in crowns. Well, I have a question for you. Uh, you do call it the currency. Which one? We will not dwell on the current official currency in the territory of the Republic of Estonia. All the most basic things about it already know. At least it's a certain that it's more second reserve currency after the dollar, operating mainly in the 19th countries of the Eurozone and in other specific territories of different jurisdictions. The emission center is the European Central Bank located in the German city of Franklin am Main. And where they started to and returned during the Ostmark, they were under the mission center of Germany, and now, also everyone already knows that Germany is also an occupation territory. It's difficult how it turns out a colony in a colony. Well, this is a completely different topic. Well, I said so much, but you got a lot of stuff to talk about. Subscribe to my channel, mark the bell in order not to miss new releases, and push the button if you like this video. See you in the next thematic video.